Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Kenny with today's daily devotional coming to you from a familiar spot for many of you. Hope that you've had a great day this Wednesday and that God has an opportunity to speak into your life as we share words of scripture, as we hear songs of praises. Today's reading comes to us from Psalm 89, beginning with verse 11. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours, the world and all that is in it. You have founded them, the north and the south, you created them. Tabor and Hermon joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm, strong is your hand, high your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Happy are the people who know the festival shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. They exult in your name all day long and extol your righteousness, for you are the glory of their strength. By your favor our horn is exalted, for our shield belongs to the Lord, our King, to the Holy One of Israel. Then you spoke in a vision to your faithful one and said, I have set the crown on one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him, and my arm shall also strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him, the wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. I will set his right hand on the sea and his hand on the rivers, and he shall say to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will make him the firstborn, the highest kings of the earth. Forever I shall keep my steadfast love for him, and my covenant with him will stand firm. I will establish his line forever, and his throne for as long as the heavens endure. This is the word of God for us today. This is God's covenant promise to his servant David. God promising to David that he is going to be the first in a long line of kings. A line of kings that culminates in Jesus Christ. Jesus who was often identified as the son of David. You know, all of us have a portion of our identity tied up in our parents. And as a parent of a couple of kids who attend this school, I, I wanna make sure that they get a good education. I wanna make sure that they're safe. I wanna make sure that they're watched over and that they're given good instruction. And I believe that this place is in fact um, the place for that to happen for my kids. I also want my kids to grow up to love the Lord and to serve Him. And the best way that I know for that to happen is for them to see me serving the Lord, loving on other people, being a good, um, strong leader in the community. That's one of the things that I'm always aware of, my place in the community as a leader in the church and a leader in the community is something that I don't take, um, I don't take lightly because I believe it's a very serious um, part of who I am and what I do. I want my kids to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and so I want them to see me having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You know as as parents it is one of our part of our role is to raise our children um, to know the ways of the Lord to, to instruct them in, in the ways that they need to go and to help them to understand who God is and why God loves them so much. I want to share with you a song that will be familiar to you but i believe it's a beautiful song uh, i'm staying with um, this group reawaken this is this song is how deep the father's love for us i do not own the rights to this song
I invite you to pray with me. God, we thank you for a cool summer day. We thank you for the rain that has fallen, the crops that continue to grow. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, whose life, death, and resurrection teaches us what it means to live, to learn, and to love those around us. God, today we want to pray especially for our schools for all schools, Lord, and all students, all teachers and administrators, all those who work hard and diligently to educate our children and to serve in various roles that keep our schools open and children receiving a good education. God, we pray for our kids as they prepare in a few weeks to re-enter school. God, we pray for their safety, their protection. God, we pray that you would continue to lead us all in the way that leads to life in jesus name amen hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed making it have a great day and i'll see you again tomorrow